Today I'm going to show you how to make this folding gate design in Adobe Photoshop. Let's do it. Today we're going to talk about how to make this gated obituary. Okay. First thing we're going to do is grab our tabloid size paper. We're going to make sure that it's landscape orientation and we're just going to hit create now let's set our background i'm just going to grab this this color right here let's make it a nice sort of muted blue now i want to make sure that when i guides that we're going to use these guides to let us know where to fold our paper at see how you can you can already tell like where it's gonna be folded. It's not gonna fold in the middle, but the two outside edges are gonna fold in to meet at that middle line. All right, next, let's take our pictures. Let's pick the one we wanna use. Right now we're working on the inside. Grab that in there. Throw that in the middle. It's just a young picture of him. Now we wanna cut him out. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab the magic line tool and hit select subject. And that's gonna do most of the work for us. All right. If you press Command C and then Command V, you can copy and paste the layer you just selected, or the, the selection you just made onto a new layer. Now we're gonna get rid of these little white outlines by turning this D fringe up. See, I like took care of some of that. Still got a little white line on the outside. So to get rid of that, we just go Control click on the layer. Select, modify, contract. Let's contract it by about two pixels. And then we can just just go ahead and delete the outside of that. Now if we zoom in, you can see that the edge is a little bit a little bit better. So we got this issue here where I, I sort of cut out his neck a bit but that could be fixed. We'll just go ahead and on our original layer, select the part that I accidentally cut off and just copy paste that, make that invisible. There we go. Now let's fix this little jagged line right here. I'll take our eraser. Just get rid of this harsh line right here. Now you can you can barely tell that that happened. Now we'll just take these two layers, merge them together, and we got our main picture right here in the middle. Now let's add some text, but we want the text to go around the character. So we're gonna select him, then we're gonna go select inverse. Then we're gonna go grab our marquee, right click, and go to make work path, right? 2.0 seems good. Then it's gonna make a path around the person that you're making the obituary for, right? So we're gonna highlight all of these. And then I'll just delete that. Now we're gonna take our pen tool. And just finish this path here. So now we got this path that sort of traces around his head. We can take our text tool now, paste in his bio. Alright. Now let's make it something that's a little easier to read. Now I'm just adjusting the text so that it doesn't go all the way to the edge. It's never a good idea to make your text go all the way to the edge. So we're gonna take our path tools, go grab each corner and pull it down to like right there. Okay. All right. Let's make this a little bit more fancy. We're just gonna take these titles, 
I'm gonna make those titles bigger two separate layers like we need and now I'm gonna go ahead and make a path on the right side now this time I'm gonna use it do it with the selection tool I'm gonna go ahead and take this selection out on that side and now we have our selection on the right side I'll just do make path 2.0 is fine and then we're gonna hit the, the type key and paste the rest of our bio into here sort of do the same thing we did on the left side now to the right side pull this in let's get this off his face there we go all right so we got our we got our bio laid out in here and of course if he was making an obituary um the inside of your thing might be different you might have order of service in the inside you might have uh, some poems or letters on the inside so it just all depends on how you want to lay it out but laying the text out in this type of way would be really cool regardless of what type of uh, info you're including so now let's go ahead and you know, sort of spruce this up a little bit I'm going to put a little white soft light behind them set that to overlay it just gives the background a little bit more depth now we got we got some empty space down here so let's see how we can play with that I'm going to grab our reels here drop that in there I just got these images from Google too just to make as an example alright click that on there and set that to multiply easily get, get rid of that white let's pull this down some and now we're just going to fill these boxes in with, with other pictures so now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to drag and drop my photos place them right into place them right into these little boxes here go ahead and grab some more a lot of times when you make obituaries it's pictures of family and friends on the inside or just like you know pictures of the deceased in different stages of their lives lives so we're gonna go ahead and that's what we're gonna do for these little reels here and then the reason I use reels obviously is because uh, he was an actor um, so you would you know whatever type of occupation the person that deceased had you can kind of you could put that into the you could put that into the obituary like as a theme all right so we just gonna mask that up We're going to make all of our real pictures black and white. Paste that in there. Again, make it black and white. Yeah, let's have that as like a border at the bottom. That looks cooler. All right, let's go back into this title text here. And let's make that a little bit more fancy. We're going to go ahead and make it like a script file blow it up so it's a little bit too close to the other text so I'm just going into my characters and lift this line up so make it a little bigger and right, now let's change the color let's do like a yellow yellow goes good with blue All right now we're just going to do this to the same text for early life work early life and work all right now I want to make his name let's make that a little bigger more noticeable now let's let's set the background up I want to add some palm trees behind him because he grew up in Miami or he's from Miami but you know he's an actor too so he spent some time in Hollywood two places that both are just you know the land is covered in palm trees so we're just gonna pay we don't you know the one with the white background is just fine or the solid color background you know, copy that paste it into here and then just set it to multiply that way we don't have to worry about cutting it out or anything like that now let's go ahead into the levels and get rid of that little line 
from the edge of the picture by just sort of messing with these shades. Okay, now that's gone. And then we're just gonna fill in the last little reel down here at the bottom, a few pictures. Okay, now let's move on to our front. So our front is gonna be just like the back design, or you know, at the, at the beginning, the layout's gonna be very similar. We're gonna have the three lines in the middle marking where our paper should fold at. And honestly, for this side of the design, they're probably more important than they were for the other side. Now we're gonna go through what we did before by selecting the subject, go cut them out, but before we do that this time we're just gonna make sure that all our lines are clean see that there's a couple spots here where the cutout sort of missed the missed the mark so we just go over these with the lasso like that just to fill in those extra spots that otherwise our picture is gonna be jagged looking so now we just go in and defringe like before all good all right now now we want to split this photo up first let's make sure this is centered by doing this now that we know that it's centered with the background let's select our top, our character or, or let's select our top layer grab the marquee tool and grab half of them hit the mask button and now we're going to duplicate it and then on our mask we're just going to hit con control i or command and i and then now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this side to the far right edge and the other side to the far left edge now this may look weird now but as the finished product when it folds his face will come together and meet so let's just group these together and then let's hit a mask one more time now we're going to take our gradient tool and just fade that edge away so now it doesn't it just doesn't look as harsh on the end on the bottom now for this middle portion I'm just gonna go ahead and paste some text I have from a, an obituary I did previously but on the back of all of not maybe not all obituaries but for the mass majority of the ones especially the ones that I design on the back I always put acknowledgments and the address to the funeral home that always that's always one thing that goes on the back it's like just so people know how to get there and also just like a little thank you to everybody that was involved and everybody that that came to pay their respects so let's move these together let's see let's put this into a more normal font size size 14 is cool let's move this up so all of this now is right underneath each other let's move that down to the bottom because at, at the top here we're going to add an order of service which usually would go in the back or I'm sorry well usually will go on the inside at least in my experience but this time we're going to put it on the back side because it just design wise it makes the most sense so I'm just going to grab a standard font here for, for this something that's real easy to read just up here making things look a little bit neater yeah the order of service usually has like you know it's just like a game plan of what how the funeral is going to go down so it would be like you know if there's an opening song there's prayers and different speakers those people would be named right here under the order of service let's make this white and then let's use the same yellow for the titles go ahead and grab that now let's change the font to the one we use on the inside now let's do how we did before we're gonna do a soft light but we want the soft light to be behind them so we're gonna split it like we did before I'm gonna take half of it
mask it, duplicate it, whoops. And then like I did before, invert, invert that. We're gonna move the right side to the left and then we're gonna move the left side to the right. Now we have like this glowing effect behind them. Let's group that. All right. Now, usually also there's paw bears on the back. So I'm just gonna duplicate that text, bring that down. And then I'll just put name. Usually there's six paw bears. Sometimes there's honorary paw bears, which I don't really understand that part. So I'm not gonna include that this time. So what I'm gonna do is just duplicate these. And then select all of those, duplicate them again, highlight all of these, bring it over to the center, group that. And then I'm just making these little fonts down here a little bit a little bit more noticeable by making them bold. Next, we just go grab some more palm trees, throw these behind them. Now, now we need to put like our text for the front. Usually at the top is like in loving memory of or remembering or, uh, you know, something like that that goes up top. So let's try to split this so that maybe in loving goes on one side and then memory of you can go on the other side. All right, let's make these yellow. Group that, all right. Now we need to put his name on here. Try to keep that text away from the edge as much as possible. Otherwise you might um, it might get cut off when you go to trim this down. You don't want that to happen. And then last, we just gonna put date that he was born and the date that he died. Let's put like a little black border behind that with the shape tool so that we can see that better. Now let's put an Oscar in the middle since he was the first black man to win an Oscar. Paste that in the middle, cut it out. You blend it in a little bit more with uh, our blend mode here, set it to screen. And then we're gonna go ahead and place one more reel behind, behind this with more of his photos. And now, we're ready to go to print. So once you send it to the printer, I actually just went to Office Depot, or I'm sorry, I actually just went to F FedEx Kingo's. Got two copies printed out just to show you guys that it'll work. That's how it should look when it prints out. It's gonna have a white border around the edge, both sides. And then we got our, our product. To print this, I used 11 by 17 gloss text weight. And that's like a similar to like a magazine paper. If you wanted to, you could use a cardstock, but you would need to score the size where it folds at so that it folds properly without without breaking the print. If you got any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments. And then I appreciate y'all watching this as usual. Peace out.